Happy Monday, YouTube. Happy Monday, everyone. And welcome to a, a bumper uh, Euro election special of London After Midnight. And we have two brand new guests uh, this week. So, uh, Zianu, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us something about yourself? Hi, my name is Xianu. I joined YouTube like a year ago when I lived in Indonesia. I'm pretty much a human rights nerd. Ah, that's a good term, human rights nerd. I like that. Uh huh. Thanks. Uh, you, you never call yourself a, an SJW or a keyboard warrior? Uh, no, uh, the nicknames I use is Xenu or Xibeskov, and I don't use titles very much. <laughs> okay, uh, and you're in Sweden, correct? Yep. Okay, Loki. And uh, Quenwick, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us something about yourself? Hello, I'm uh, I'm a Finnish general nerd <laughs> and geek, mostly philosophy and technic and more part more precisely theoretical philosophy and sciences are my interests. Aha, uh -huh, and uh, you're both in college, aren't you, at the moment? Uh, University for Applied Sciences. Sorry, I used college the way that Americans say oh. college. Yes, you Yes, and, and Zianu, I think you're a postgrad, aren't you? I'm writing on a master thesis in human rights studies. All right. Ah, and um, Gunderson returning for, I don't know, is it the third time or fourth time? But, but a Second. returning guest. You've only been on once before. Yeah, with, um, with Bill, remember? I don't think I've been on since then. I, I do apologise, you have only been on once before. I stand corrected. Well, in um, in merry old Yorkshire, and uh, what's, what's the standard greeting in Yorkshire? Hey up. Oh, OK, well, hey up, Gunderson, and um, Frottis. Hey, everyone. Still your classical white male privileged guy. I shall bring my privilege to this conversation. White, straight, cis male... <laughs> you forgot this, yes, yes, it is true. Okay, that's right. I don't. You're not. You're not the only white, straight, cisgendered male. Yes, but I'm the only one with true privilege. Uh, and you're German, so it's even worse. <laughs> Correct. And mm. neurotypical. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, and neurotypical. And, and no diagnosed mental illnesses. Oh God, I am very. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the most privileged person in this call. What a cunt. So, um, and uh, actually, I'll tell you what's especially true, given that apparently the, like, the theme tune or anthem or whatever for Europe um, is, is Beethoven's Ninth. Did they not consider compositions by any other nation? No. I mean, we all know that Germany rules, de facto rules the European Union. Isn't he Austrian? No, Beethoven's Beethoven. German. Oh, sorry. My, my mistake. <laughs> Beethoven is very much German. Um, oh. But we all know that that Europe, Europe is just a shill for for German politics. Yeah, mm. it is true. Ah, well, without further ado, then um, uh, today's topic is this Danish cartoon, Vote Man, which I believe was actually pulled following some controversy. It does basically open with an orgy and then go into violence, violence. Um, and yeah, it's all meant to be tongue-in-cheek. Um, and no, at the end it says, no hipsters were harmed in the making of this film. Um, and ultimately, my take is that advertising should A, be something that you notice, and B, be something that you remember. Maybe you don't show this to your kids, but basically, we all noticed it, we all heard about it, We're, having seen it, we will remember it. Um, and that's pretty much my only opinion. Uh, Zianu, I think you've only just watched it, haven't you? But you'd heard about it before. Um, your opinion on the cartoon Vote Man? Well, I read about it earlier today or the other day and didn't bother to check it out because it didn't seem interesting. But I followed your link now just ten minutes ago. And I really think this cartoon is a mistake to make something like that. I mean, it annoys me that people get riled up about the sexuality and such, but the message is pretty much a fascist, uh, do as we tell you or else, 
in this case we order you to vote and we will hurt you unless you vote. And that is a very unfortunate message to send. And I sure they intended to be tongue cheek or whatever, but I personally don't uh, appreciate uh, that particular sense of humor, especially mm. from an official source. Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, I don't know much about Danish um, humor. I did date a Danish girl for a while a few years ago. Um, but uh, the only Danish joke I know is um, an Eskimo walked by a bar. And apparently that apparently that they think that um, that Eskimos are all drunkards. Um, so the only the only Danish joke I know is racist or at least xenophobic. Um, the thing about voting, of course, is they do have compulsory voting in some places. I believe Australia even has. And I don't like the idea of being arrested for not voting. I must say, I don't like. It's not. Idea. They don't arrest you. They just um, fine you. I think. Oh okay. Um, but. Uh, Ah, so anyway, we definitely have, well, whereas I'd say I'm fairly neutral on it, we have one vote against this um, advert. Uh, Quenric, what did you think of it? I personally liked it. I'm not big on um, concepts like dignity. A concept like dignity. I think um, the uh, for m- meaning behind the, well, as Zinu, or as it has been said already, the point was to bring bring it bring the event to public consciousness, and um, the issue that uh, Zinu just mentioned the uh, a, an authoritarian or fascistic uh, message of "do what we tell you to, or we will hurt you." Yeah, that's a good point, but it isn't a major point since it isn't something that is taken seriously at all. Mm. And that's my two cents. Well, yeah, the reason I laughed was how ludicrous and over the top it was. I also think with that kind of, uh, should we say, puerile humour and what have you, you might reach an audience that kids will get it on their phone and go, oh, look, look, I say kids, I mean, like, um, you know, teenagers, people in early 20s, who might not pay attention like we do, might not even have known that there were elections coming up, or that at least it's sort of... There's a part of me that thinks that all publicity is good publicity. I don't know. Anyway, uh, pardon me, Gunderson? I didn't... I only watched, like, the first 30 seconds, and I just... I'd see enough, to be honest, because it's just... As as Zinu said, it's just fucking ridiculous. Uh, And, like... It kind of reminds me of a little uh, thing they did a couple of years ago, where they it was a, a thing they it was like a, a a PSA they put out to try and <clears throat> get uh, young girls more interested in science, but it ended up being like just chock a block with like misogynistic stereotypes and just it was. Awful. Look, look up on YouTube later. Science, it's the girl thing. You'll probably find it. And it does. It certainly seems reminiscent of that. And I don't know. I just feel I, I'm more inclined to agree with Zenu, even if I don't necessarily like the concept of dignity. It still comes across as just like there are better ways to communicate what it's trying to communicate than this. Hmm. Um, may I chip in on dignity? Uh, the thing is, it de- it depends very much on what the source is. A corporation don't really need to be dignified in advertising, or some random person trying to make a name for himself or herself. But the government ought to be dignified, uh, treat itself with respect, and treat the voters and public with respect. Um, Advertising that is uh, disrespectful to the government or to the voters should not come from the government. It's one thing if a corporation shows disrespect to its customers or whatever, that's an entirely different manner. But public service should be public service, not haha, we own you, haha. 
<laughs> I, I, I think I completely disagree. First of all, uh, I see this as satire. I mean, it's an over... completely over-the-top something, you know... It's in the lines of South Park for me. I mean, you, you don't take it completely seriously. You're not meant to. It's made, been made so over-the-top that you... Anyone who takes this seriously needs to go see a doctor anyway. Um, and and then there, there, there's the part like um, nowhere in it does it advocate the government doing this. Like like the government at no point is is he made yeah. a government official or anything. So it has nothing to do with fascism. You know, that's the point actually because they give him a like a, a tragic bat story is a, a bat st- notice the Freudian slip there a tragic back story and they actually said tragic bat story because yeah it's like it, is Bruce Wayne a fascist exactly it's, um, it's it's like the question for me is is like you know um, where where does it say that it's the government and does the government yeah. have to be dignified oh no. No, it doesn't. There's a lot of places where the government shouldn't be dignified for a lot of reasons. Um, like, when dealing with, with fascists or something, I don't expect my government to be dignified. I expect my government to be an absolute jackass and kick the, them the fuck out. Mm. Well, I strongly disagree with that, uh, uh, personally. But it is the government that is doing this. This being the advertisement itself, not the things depicted in the advertisement. But personally, I really don't want my government to do South Park. Uh, We elect government officials to be government officials, not to be uh, that sort of comedians. Yeah. But, but here, here's the thing: like, like if you go to just go to the Wikipedia page and look under c- c- uh, censorship or criticism of sarca- satire, um, and that's exactly one of the uh, uh, like uh, censorships of it. It's in bad taste, but it's not. You know, if it does the dignified effect of going, well, we, here is we got more young people to pay attention to an election. Oh, I, I completely and completely think it's okay to do that, you know. Paying attention, to the, paying attention complete... to the election is only one part. It's also how we pay attention to it. Do we want people to see the election as something important that we should take seriously and that is important for the people's sake? Or should we see it as something that, oh, we ought to do this because uh, the officials want us to do it? And uh, no, where, where, it, where does it say that it says the officials want you to do it? It's an advertisement for it. When, when, when someone uh, has like a product, like it says there is a product uh, of of the of the uh, of some company it doesn't say you have to buy said company's product the the whole thing about it is um that that if if advertisement it gives you the chance to see something you might not see that's the point of advertisement so saying that you know you have to you have to buy this or it's fascist cuz the company cuz they're, they're giving you the chance to see something or or uh run with something it's just Blatantly not That's true, in my opinion. I said at all. It, it, I don't think it's a fascist thing. Um, yes, it's completely over-the-top violent, but it's supposed to leave an impression and leave a mark, and it's supposed to be uh, aimed at people who are not very interested, traditionally not very interested in elections. I think they're very media savvy, and they've looked at what kind of things go viral, what kind yeah. of things... Exactly. It's a very media savvy campaign, and it's the kind of campaign I wish they would do more for elections, just to get people to actually pay the attention to it. I mean, the amount of people I've talked to who've been like, "Oh, there's elections. Oh, I probably won't vote." You know, which is yeah. a much, much for me a much bigger problem than, let's say, um, a, a, a campaign for which is maybe a little bit meh. You know, which is questionable yeah. <clears throat> in content. I think. People not voting is worse. Yeah, I, 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 even as stupid as I think this advert is, I have to admit, if it gets the job done, then I'm in favour of it. Exactly. Even That's if it's getting the job done for the wrong reasons. I mean, when when you're seeing when you're seeing the the uh, kind of turnout we're having, we're having turnouts in the European elections which are below twenty five percent, which is only a quarter of the people who are allowed to vote are actually vote using that right. Uh, mm. 
that's an awful amount. I mean, I, I'm completely for um, for using any kind of tactic to heighten the, the importance of said vote. Um, 25% yeah. is miserable. As yeah. Honest, yeah. That's worse than the U.S., isn't it? Yeah, that's worse than the U.S. currently. Wow. U.S. presidential that's... election, I'm guessing. No, no, U.S. local elections, not presidential. The presidential elections about 40%. Wow, fucking hell. Um, it's one of the worst turnouts in elections around. So boosting this by any means possible, barring maybe actually forcing people to vote, which I'm not completely against. I, I think it's, it's uh, one of the things we can think about. Uh, I know a lot of people are not for it, and there's a lot of good reasons not to be for it, but that's a completely different debate. But, you know, boosting it through means of maybe even controversy is not the worst thing in the world for me. I think it's it's a possibility to, to, to be looked at. And if it turns out it causes a little bit of controversy, that's, I mean, God, my God, we're not five-year-olds. Yeah, we'll mm. get over it. Exactly, you know. I find it very unlikely that the reason people don't vote is that they don't know that that there is an election to vote in. Yeah. Yes. And the, and the only thing this advertising does is to show people that there is an election. That's the only positive thing it does. I think it might actually increase apathy, making people less likely to vote. I, I don't think so. I mean, I don't see I, how I, it the, would do that. What I've, what I've heard from around, you know, people I work with, the conversations I've had at work. At one point, I asked, "Oh yeah, what night? What day is the election?" Because I because I forgot, and I was just looking at plans for when I was going to take my vacation. And three of my colleagues did not know, which is, by the way, all my colleagues. Ouch. So you know, I'm completely for uh, maybe raising the potential of people voting. Mm. Um, as we seem to have some kind of consensus here, that. This um, this uh, video wasn't the best approach. Um, does anybody have any idea? I'll go around again of what they would consider to be a preferable way of getting people to the ballot boxes. Uh, is there any? Um, well, why should people vote? That is the question we need to answer. And... <clears throat> We need more debate between the political blocs, what they actually want to accomplish. That is one part. And of course, there's always the good old us versus them narrative. And something that is starting now on both sides is the building of two blocs. The democratic bloc with pretty much all the standard parties on one hand, and on the other hand we have the Russian government and we have the fascist parties of Europe mm. who are getting more and more friends with each other and this also makes it more important to vote and I think this is something that they should uh, press on with seriously Aha uh -huh. um, Quinwick? I think we uh, what we should do to get more people to vote is to enhance the fringe so if you mind uh, mind the expression evil bastard mm -hmm. parties like UKIP or BNP mm. or the true Finns. we need to make them stronger and more just evil so to uh, so as to bring up the good versus evil narrative and make people and and then we we might be able to get people to think and believe or understand that if they don't vote the other, uh, the evil bastards will get what they want and shit will happen well in the UK We've got one bunch of evil bastards in the lead in the polls, but we've already got a government of evil bastards. Um, but it's just which, which which evil bastard is more evil than the other. Um, 
But I, I mean, I, I do definitely see. I mean, when I was back in the Socialist Worker Party, we wouldn't necessarily put up candidates, but we'd encourage people to vote. Just don't vote BNP. That was pretty much. Um, but uh, Gunderson, your thoughts? I guess just. I, I mean, does I can't remember. Does the video actually explain why voting is important, or does, uh, or does it just say vote? Do it, motherfucker. That's like, pretty much I, what it I, says. I just... Vote, motherfucker. <laughs> Vote. They, they could have I mean, we've had campaigns James similar said. to this. This I is mean, not like, the first I, campaign. I, I think, yeah, I, I mean, yes, if it gets the job done, then fair enough. I just think it'd be better to explain why voting is actually important and not just fill up with all this pomp and bullshit. Like, mm. if it, as I said, if it works, then then I'm happy, but I think it's, we people need to understand why voting is actually important, even if they don't have much faith in any of the parties that they have to vote for. So that's basically what, just any kind of thing that actually explains why voting matters and why you're shitting in your own porridge by not voting. <laughs> shitting in your own porridge. Um, yeah. Um, Fartis, did you have anything to add? I have a lot to add. Um, <laughs> why people should vote. You seriously are not writing a master thesis in human rights and are asking me the direct uh, question, why should people vote? That That's my serious question. Because if you are, I, I don't know how what where to even begin. Cause I'm not asking... Be our, I... Not you, uh, uh, Zeno. Because uh, that, that, that is a question you shall have had in epic proportions uh, especially when talking about my country's history I know I did this for most of my school career starting in like third grade I talked about why people should vote and got drilled and hammered into my head why people should vote I'm not gonna invoke Murphy's uh, not Murphy's law I'm not gonna invoke the law here but oh, Godwin's law. No, Godwin's. Yeah. Thank you. Godwin's law here at this point, but Godwin's law. Um, <laughs> you just have to say the word Godwin's law. You know, and there's an unspoken why, why people should vote. It. Yes, people should vote. It's important that people's voices are heard. It's the only way in a representative democracy we can work, and no other democracy works before we get onto that bandwagon. Um, then uh, Cranridge brought up the good versus evil. No, we should not go good versus evil. They tried that in England. Alex can tell you of those results. Um, I was hardly kidding, to be honest. Uh, but, but, well, the good but the good versus evil thing just doesn't work. You can't paint, paint a p party as evil because it gives, gives your opponents the, um, the opportunity to paint themselves as the victim and paint themselves at the same time as the anti-establishment, which parties like this like to do anyway, which gives them a whole other voting block, which is a lot more problematic. Like I said, the, uh, the UKIP is the perfect example of this, because they're currently the anti-establishment party. Um, what I think this vid did very good is bring the European elections into the conversation, which is always a good thing. It aimed at a very anti-voting anti public, um, which is also a good thing. It aimed at an age group that is very problematic for advertisement and for voting, which is another good thing. Did it do it well? No, but I don't think I could suggest anything better to make it better. So I'm not going to poop on someone when I can't give him a suggestion to say, um, this is how it should have been, because I can't think of anything, especially for the age group from 18 to 25, which is our age group, by the way. Um, I can't think of a better way to address them. Well, except not, Alex. Not Alex is old. And Alex's. Just stop calling me old. <laughs> but you did mention some really good things about the video, but you also indirectly mentioned one of the reasons why the video is bad. The fascist parties are already the anti-establishment parties. I uh, heard a lecture about a survey a while ago where they claimed that the people who vote for the Swedish fascist party, Sverigedemokraterna, most of them hate and despise this party. The reason they vote for it is that they hate and despise the other parties 
even more and just want to say fuck you to them. And uh, uh, I mean, we have low election turnout. That's very bad. We need to get it higher. And when the message becomes from the politician that, oh, by the way, we hate you as well, then that does encourage people to uh, go and vote for the fascist party, I'm afraid. But uh, where, where, did, where in the video do you see anything that, that um, aims at an official voting, like an official member of the party? I don't see it anywhere, to be honest. I don't see Vote Man as an official affiliate of the, of the uh, Danish government. He has a uh, sad backstory. He's, he's a vigilante. Or yeah, that's at least how I, I saw him in the video. He's a vigilante. You have to think on two levels at once here. Inside the video and the video itself. I totally agree with you about inside the video, but people will also see where the video is coming from. They will, a lot of people will see this as a message from a part of the government because it is. I, I don't see it that way. I just don't see it that way. I mean, we can disagree upon that, but I just don't see. I just don't see it as the government uh, is is telling you to be violent. I just don't see that. I I, I just not. I'm not seeing uh, the Danish government supporting violence in this. Um, and that's I, I think that. what's trying to indicate for me, or at least what it's what you, you for me you're trying to indicate in this in this uh, in that's this whole thing. My, but my point was that. The video was disrespectful towards the voters, and I think that some voters will think that, okay, I don't really care about the elections, and these people in the government are obviously angry with me uh, for that. They are making a quote, funny, unquote video about someone beating me up for not doing as they want uh, uh, to do. Uh, let's just uh, fuck them over by uh, voting for the people they hate. But even if they vote for a party you might not like, or they, the government may not, might not like, they, they, it gives us no right to disenfranchise them. And no, I don't see the vid party as uh, the video as is, 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 uh, a call to, that they're going to do violence or force you to vote. Like I said, once again, the in, in the video itself, it's a vigilante. This is an important thing. It is not the Danish government walking around with military police or military telling you to go and vote dragging you out of your home if you do not. It is a vigilante in his own actions, not of the Danish government, going, I, 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 we should vote. Nothing Again, else. Two different yes, levels. it is from the Danish Four government. Things, but entirely right inside the video, but I think that some people will see it as a bit of a difference when such a video is made by some branch of the government and when it's done with a, by a private person. If this video had been made by a private person, I would just think that, okay, this was bad sense of humor, but that's pretty much it. I wouldn't say that it's a bad thing, but it is a bad thing that this kind of message is coming from a branch of the government, in my opinion. I, I, just, um, I just don't see that, but, you know... I've been, tr I've been that, trying... For the, last, for the past few minutes, I've been trying to make hand signals to get you to uh, notice that I have something to say. Somehow that doesn't work. Anyway, <laughs> I am under the. I've been under the impression that the video was commissioned by a non-partisan uh, part of the government, which basically would mean that they don't have. Excuse me. They don't have a party that they hate, and in that regard, uh, the logic that a person would look. Uh, think that I'm going to vote for someone these the commi the people who commissioned this advertisement hate because that would be impossible because there is no such party also another thing I is think we're running I, out of time. I've, I've just I just tried to find out who actually commissioned it it's by the way the Danish Parliament as a whole I mean it's the yeah. whole Parliament not just one party but the whole Parliament exactly okay I, I'm gonna make my final point and and, and um, as a, as, a, as a thing, because I think this debate has gone long enough. I don't think it will convince anyone here. The point is, and I've, I've checked, I was looking for something else, but found this in an article, that it has actually worked in aiming at very, you know, very young voters. 
it, it has actually worked in Denmark in, in a lot of people <coughs> this video and at least you know uh, now know that peop there is an election that's a thing I, I mean um, whatever you think of the video doesn't really matter but that's that that's the important um, that, that I think that's the important thing to, to, to be said um, that there, the, the video has ain't got its point. I mean, it's been taken down by the Danish government. Not that that's going to work in any way, but you know. There you go. Strive and effect. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yes. It's interesting, of course, how you you brought my own closing thoughts uh, that you brought up South Park because I was thinking of South Park, and of course, what you hear from non-voters, and I may get some hate for this. Gunny's already had, Gunderson's already had a go at me in the past for being a non-voter. Uh, having, well, having spent a chunk of my adult life being a non-voter. Um, and of course South Park has the douche and the turd thing which people reference. It's a choice between a douche and yeah, the turd. Yeah, I, I, had a, I had a conversation turd I had which... last night along those lines and using the South Park douche and turd, <laughs> turd uh, analogy. Well, yeah, in the song, it's just douche and turd, but the actual mascots were um, a giant douche and a turd sandwich, indeed. Um, but, yeah, this is what you get. Of course, I voted in the first ever London mayoral elections, and I was like, wow, the first, I'm one of the first Londoners in history to vote for a democratically elected mayor of this city. Um, and, and that was in around the uh, turn, turn of the millennia. And, of course, it's always a two-horse race. And I don't like Boris Johnson. And I don't like... Um, Ken Livingston. Ken Livingston. I don't like either of them. And anything else is just a protest vote. Um, well, I, Boris Johnson is funny. So. I mean, in, in this sense, the European election is different. Because parties mm. will get a chance to have a seat. I mean, I don't know how it works in, yeah, in yeah. each of the countries. Each of the countries decide yeah. uh, differently how... how um, how how you gonna your election system works? Like I think England has districts, and you have so many all, seats per district and stuff like all that. All of the yeah, all of the UK has a uh, uh, like party list proportional representation, except for Northern Ireland. Yeah, in, I don't in, know in, how they... in Germany we have a system where the whole republic basically votes and it's proportional um, as a one one constituency. It's one huge constituency. Yes, I think we have a similar here in Finland. In, yeah. In Northern Ireland, I think it's like single transferable vote. But the, the thing about that is, is that there is no protest vote in the European Union. You can vote for the person you like, and let's say they only get like one or two percent of the vote. They might get a seat or two. Mm. So depends how many seats they have in each. It depends, uh... depends on your system and a lot of other things, but there is a chance of you actually getting a seat. Yep. Or your party getting a seat. So, you yeah. know, um, there's no protest vote. So I think the European election in that sense is very good. You know, it's not a two-horse race. You can go and vote Greens, and maybe the Greens will get a seat. Or you can go and vote... Well, this, this, is, this is true. The comparison I made was faulty. I was just trying to give an insight into the mind of a, of a former, you know, those horrible, disgusting creatures I used to be one, the non-voter. But also, of course, with, 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 uh, with the government, with the general election, you can give the government a bloody nose, and you can't do that with a... Which, which, which we try to do with Labour, of course, although... Uh, um, God, come, come back, Gordon Brown, always forgiven. But um, ah, I'm just going to ask, uh, because I, I didn't expect, it's great that we had some debate going here. I thought this topic was going to be the light topic, and, and it, it turned out to be this really heated half-hour thing. Like, wow. Um, and um, I'm just going to ask for closing thoughts and uh, goodbye for, for, for uh, goodbyes for the uh, Monday edition. Um, so, uh, Zianu, um closing thoughts and goodbye? I don't have much to add. I just hope that there will be a good election turnout and that people will uh, vote for some for uh, good things. Amen to that. Uh, oh, 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 and your goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and Quenwick, closing thoughts and goodbye? I don't really have any closing thoughts at all. And regarding goodbye, all right, see ya. <laughs> and Gunderson? I guess I just reckon that, yeah, they could have gone about this in a, in a better way, but uh, 
yeah, just going with what Quinrick and Zini said, I just hope there's a good turnout. And yeah, see us. And Fartis? Well, in general, I hope it took its effect and some young people at least think about voting. Um, if it does do that, I'm happy with it and I think I could defend it in a, in a state like I have here. Um, if it doesn't, I'm sad about it. It was worth a try, my God. Um, and I hope London burns and, and the rats go running away. <gasps> oh, you had to go there. Yes, yes, I, I did. Had- <clears throat> Um, and it's good night for me. <laughs>